This little device here has two buttons and some lights. Uh -huh. So what you're going to see is every couple seconds these lights are going to turn on just for a moment. Mm -hmm. And they, if they look like this with a hole in the center, mm -hmm. that's the target. When you see the target, you shoot one button as fast as you can. Uh -huh. Or they all turn on like that, that's not the target, so you don't press the button. Right. And does it matter which button I press? No, you either one, but just one. First it's going to count down, and then you should be shooting targets. So, you noticed in the beginning it was mostly don't shoot, don't shoot. Yeah, it was right? mostly don't shoot. And every once in a while you had to shoot. And then partway through it shifted and became mostly shoot, shoot, shoot. That yes, except then every so often you had to not shoot. And then at the end it switched back again and it was yeah. sort of mostly don't shoot. Okay, so that makes three sections. So when we keep boring you, what happens is you get slower and you get more variable. Mm -hmm. So you're drifting away, losing contact with the test, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we push you. This is good. You, you get... Um, you get a lot faster, you get a little more consistent. And then we keep pushing you. What happens? You slow down and you get less consistent. Yeah. So that's the ADD piece, is that when you start something new, it's okay, and then you lose interest and right. fade out. And the way that you fade out is you become slower and more variable. So this is a good, really good picture of where you are right now, without the concerta and the, and the um, red one. Yeah. And then we'll do this again after 20 sessions and see how it's better. Ah. Great. All right, so these little uh, electrodes are going to go on your head with cool. some paste, so it's a little sticky, then it doesn't hurt or anything. All right. And that lets us measure your brain waves. Awesome. And nothing goes in, we're just measuring. And then we're going to use your brain waves to drive the game. So it's like you're playing the game directly with your brain. How'd you do on the quick test? The details are the interesting part. Was kind of like fun only in the middle of it. Oh really? Like because at the beginning it was really boring because you didn't press the button hardly at all. But then it turns the in the middle you press the button all the time. And that's more fun. Well, it is more fun in that it's kind of like a, a traditional like shooting game where you have to like shoot at the bad guy, but then every so often like a girl comes up and you're not supposed to shoot her. <laughs> that sounds good. Hogan's Alley, that's called. Yeah, it's kind of like a eight bit ver or like a two-bit version of Hogan's Alley. <laughs> exactly. So you're flying a rocket through a tunnel here. Right. Sometimes the rocket's faster, sometimes it's slower. That's the information back to your brain. It's not like you're supposed to consciously figure it out or anything. Right. Just sort of let yourself feel like you're flying with the rocket through the tunnel faster and slower. Sometimes there's a little blackness in the tunnel, that's part of the feedback too. Right. Now I'll check in with how your body feels right now. More tense, more relaxed, anything different? I don't know, sure how to describe it. <laughs> okay, good, bad. It feels good, definitely. Well, it feels zen. I feel okay. that. Okay. So you feel that in your body or? In I feel that like everywhere. I feel kind of just holy. Well, I felt holy zen, <laughs> kind of. You're at one. You're one with the with, with the, rock the little ship. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. And the teddy bear. <laughs> okay, so no um, dizziness or lightheadedness nope. or anything. This is actually really cool. <laughs> it is definitely cool. Focused and very um, in the moment. Also satisfied with just like going through these mm -hmm. obstacles.
How's your brain, Noah? I don't know yet. <laughs> it's feeling pretty cool. <laughs> What's the bear doing all the, the time? The bear was vibrating. And like continuously I, or and well kinda of, it's that like when I was going faster as if it were an engine vibrating, it vibrated like exactly. stronger. So we started initially with uh, on the right side. Okay, the right side of our brain is managing, noticing what's new and where you are and taking care of that. Meanwhile, right. the left hemisphere is over there, my plan for today and doing detail processing and stuff. Right. So they, obviously they both need to work and they need to work together. But what we're doing is we're starting on the right side to get your body calmed down, first of all. So right. when we go in the back on the right side, back here to the parietal, this is for physical calming. We will need to do this where we train the two hemispheres together. We think of that as stabilizing. Right. It keeps the brain from going off track, like with panic and headaches. And so I was looking, I was thinking that we might have to do this sooner rather than later, and then when you got the headache, that's right. what I did. I switched the electrode to here, and then right. I got rid of the headache. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep those two pieces. We're going to keep the body relaxation and the stabilization and continue with that. And then over time we'll add some other things. So we're going to add up here the prefrontal on the right side. Mm -hmm. So prefrontal is about self-control. This is our executive function, being able to manage ourselves. And on the right side that's emotional. We're also going to want to add the prefrontal on the left side. This is um, this is the ADD piece. Right. Okay. Cool. And that was a really good start. Outstanding. Awesome. How do you feel? Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> he was cool when he came in. Yeah. How was it? What's your reaction? Well, um, it's interesting because it was kind of tense doing the thing itself, and you know, like I'm kind of focused. Yeah. But it's. It doesn't feel negative in any way. It felt really good. Yeah. Zen. I, that's the word that we used to describe it. Like, I'm kind of in this fo completely focused sense. It's kind of like when you first um, uh, go on stage in a show, your heart's kind of nervous, but you're really happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I'm feeling right now. Yeah. Cool. Do you feel like it's going to work? Do you feel like it's going to be I a good I feel like something is going to happen and it's going to be amazing. <laughs>